The authorship controversy arose because an impressive community of influential, intelligent personalities of our world had expressed, with full justification, serious doubt that the merchant William Shakespeare from Stratford could not possibly have been identical with the poet genius and dramatist William Shakespeare, author of Hamlet, King Lear etc. The world's leading academic Shakespeare expert, Professor Sir Stanley Wells, frequently called all non-Stratfordians, or anti-Stratfordians, just crazy. John Michel, in his book, Who Wrote Shakespeare, was content to discuss 23 candidates proposed by Academ. They all wore non-Stratfordians, for one main reason. It's about the genius of a time, in general. As well as about the author, of Hamlet, King Lear, the sonnets etc., in particular. The author of the canon, of the first folio, represents such a unique singularity. That it seems ridiculous, to even consider, more than three candidates. This is about the same, as if we started, to look for the genius in 50 possible different persons, of its time, for instance in case of an uncertain authenticity of Beethoven. John Michel, in Chapter 8, discussed Christopher Marlowe as the, professional candidate. There he wrote, Marlowe's learning was of a kind and quality, that scholars find in Shakespeare, and there is nothing much within Shakespeare's range of knowledge, that he could not have mastered. If he really did survive his own murder, there is no limit to what he can be supposed to have done later. Yes indeed, there were no limits. Later, he wrote under an unimaginable number of pen names, including Shakespeare, Drayton, Chapman, Haywood, Breton, Wither, Beaumont and many, many more. One can predict, in all likelihood, academia has too much to lose, and will be forced, to ignore, to neglect and to ridicule some 2000 direct, and indirect arguments for Marlowe, as the real, and only true Shakespeare. Collected in this German book, no English editor was ready to publish. <laughs>